We want to move on to another big story we've been following tonight. Community driven action and calls for accountability after a deadly officer involved shooting here in Knoxville. That shooting happening last night in the 1700 block of Merchants Drive. The Knox County Sheriff's Office saying 33 year old Chanara Tom Feep was killed after getting into a physical altercation with a Knoxville police officer. That officer, we're told, was initially responding to a report of a hit and run. Well, fast forward to this afternoon and a group of community members rallying in Market Square, marching to take their message to city leaders. No justice. No, no peace. peace. No justice. No, no peace. peace. No justice. No that march ending at the city county building while tonight's city council meeting was already underway. Now, six on your side reporter Kirsty Crawford was inside that meeting. Kirsty, I know you were hearing the concerns of a lot of people in that community. So the question is, what were they saying tonight? They were calling for change with law enforcement practices inside the city. Now, people from all backgrounds spoke at the city council meeting tonight. Racial bias was brought up, but it wasn't the main issue. That conversation leading to the central focus, accountability and openness. That badge is not a form of protection. That blue uniform is not a form of protection. Because at the end of the day, it's a man that must use his own discernment and decision making. And he failed. He failed that day at his job. Dozens marching from Market Square. The people will rise. The people will rise. To the city the county building. Rise. Their goal to confront Knoxville Mayor Madeline Rojero and Police Chief Eve Thomas, demanding to be heard and demanding accountability. We are missing numerous facts, right? Guess what? If he was wearing a body camera, I bet we would be missing no facts right now. Now, would we? we have a whole lot of facts to go with what took place. Community advocates bringing the family of Chanara Feep, showing city officials who he's leaving behind. Three children, a partner, and family. He didn't see a man with hopes. He didn't see a man with dreams or anything like that. Um, he didn't see a man with disappointments. He didn't see a man with accomplishments. Um, he saw a brown-skinned individual. Several demanding for TBI to take over the investigation, for officers to be held accountable for their actions, and for body cameras to be worn by all KPD officers. It's ridiculous when you're putting millions of dollars into another facility, but you can't invest a million dollars. Um, not only to protect us, but also to make law enforcement job easier. Four fatal officer-involved shootings in the past 12 months in Knoxville. The protesters asking for more officer training, more time spent on de-escalating situations, and a more open relationship with the community. Mayor O'Hara sending out heartfelt sympathies to family and friends of Phoebs, telling the crowd the city hears them and will reflect, but protocol is protocol. For now, we will also await uh, the investigation. Uh, as I outlined it, that is the process we will follow, and um, we will be reporting back to the community. And after last night's deadly shooting, the group says they now plan to push for requiring body cameras for KPD officers. All right, Kirsty, thank you so much. An officer, by the way, was also taken to the hospital and released last night after that physical altercation with Phoebe. Sheriff's Office investigation, by the way, is ongoing. We'll let you know of any developments.